the biggest issues about schools is their durability. Yeah. So the durability of a skill, for instance, with AI at the moment we're tracking is about 18 months to two years. In other words, you're going to have to reskill your workforce, at least 30% of your workforce, every two years with the new technology that's been introduced at the speed that's been introduced with AI. So specific technical skills for AI, two-year shelf life. The cost to the company, you need to get that under control. Biggest issue, therefore, is durability, because if you go for more durable skills, then you're starting to look at the ones that are cross-functional and transferable, which means yeah. their portability is higher, and they are less visible. In other words, they are things related to how humans think, how humans interact, um, how we solve problems, how we do things. They are incredibly durable. So we work, we've had a, a skills framework after we did the national uh, training reforms in the 90s, we started to see wherever we were building skills frameworks for industries, there would be the same group of skills and knowledge that were actually portable across any of those industries, across any of the functions. <laughs> they're not just non-technical and portable, they're human. So they yeah. are built into what humans do. And so if you spend a lot of time getting how humans work and respond, then you get two things. You get humans who are more employable, but you get an organisation that's more adaptive. And so those types of human capabilities that we build for our clients are not only there to you could have three or four of them that are going to drive the major strategy and the culture agenda for five years and they won't change but you can build them and you can predict them however i'm going to have to change and spend a lot of money on these other skills putting the human capabilities in the same bucket as the skills that vendors are talking about is putting a versace bag in a two dollar shop <laughs> yeah yeah. They're completely different. The investment's different. They're highly predictive, but worse, they're complex and they're situated, which means you can only learn them. You can't, in actual fact, teach them. So you learn them while you're doing work in a context and it's embedded there. I know that sounds very academic, but the difference is fundamental because I could build three of these those and get the whole workforce starting to do things differently, whereas I'm going to spend a lot of money on doing tactical technical skills and all I'm getting is a short-term benefit. Yes, it's imperative, but no, you can't build a five-year strategy and a culture based on a skill that's got a two-year shelf life. 